Hello and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with me, Kevin Sawyer. And today I'm going to decide to walk out the shop and I'm going to go and uh, drive a truck instead. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've fed up fixing cars. Let's go and drive a truck instead. I'm only joking. It's a Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, and you guys and girls may have noticed I've got a new livery on here, um, which is based off of my other livery, which is the on American truck. Now this is a bit of a work in progress um, because it doesn't look too bad here with the plastic fenders and everything. The reason I've got the plastic fenders on here and I haven't got the painted fenders is because I can't find a de half decent and template to work with on this truck. Um, just try and sort of like marry up everything with the side skirts. And what I need is a template that has all the side skirts in it and everything else, so I can get this to work properly. So it will be all painted black. So that is the plan. Um, but what do you think, guys? What do you think? Do you like it? Um, do you not like it? Um, as again, I was working off a Scania template, really, um, not the legit template for this yet as I said I haven't actually found a legit one um, I can't work out to save my life but here we go I've got my uh, logo on the back and everything as well but anyway let me know let's jump in the truck so that's why I've called, deemed it as a work in progress oops try that again that's better all uh, right. Test the brakes holding. Yep. Release the brakes. It's going to be difficult to get out this yard without too many dramas. Very tight on that bit. We have to do it nice and wide. Got doubles just. To Test my skills. Again, I've left it a bit late in the evening. It's just after five. I'll bring up the um, that for you so you guys can see what I'm doing. Janine's gone back. I'm left with my good old friend Rex over there. Um, he's keeping up. He's a uh, he's keeping me company. I do like the old house stations though. We did have one when I was very young. I don't remember it very well, but apparently it was a very nice dog. And um, he used to look after me. I was very young at the time. Stay there, mister. Please stay there. Chain for four spoke as well. Um, just to mix up a bit. I think the four spoke looks a bit better than the three spoke on this. I must admit the the new the new um, steering wheel is growing on me, I admit, but I still prefer the old school look. Mixing up. Being individual. I've got a fan in here even though it this would probably be air conditioned to be fair. So this is just a regular. Um, cool. I'm not. I'm not floating the gears anymore because someone said to me you shouldn't really float on a synchro got mesh box. I know you can, but I could see what they were saying about the fact it can potentially do a lot of damage during it. I have done it on the synchro box. Very patient and very lots of caravans. I've been seeing a lot of people objecting to the caravans in the 
multiplayer forum on Facebook. Whoa, Mr. Thanks a lot. Well done. I had a funny feeling he's going to do that. Just fly out in front of me. I just made it round that roundabout. Someone else said to me, there's also another trucker, he said to me, you shouldn't really be driving manual, because um, most trucks are um, automatic boxes, and I'm aware of that, I'm fully aware of that, um, but there's still an option to buy, I think Scania and maybe Volvo are still the only manufacturers that still give you an option to have a a manual box. Obviously most of the ma most of the most of the um hauliers are gonna naturally just buy ones that are automatically automatic because um because most of the test centers now obviously just put you in a truck that's an automatic anyway. Um just a matter of course. Night, well, I'd say probably 98% of trucks on the UK roads are automatic. Not many of them are manual anymore. Uh, so, you know, I can see his point. Uh, but I just prefer to, to actually shift, you know, each to their own. And I think someone that owned their own rig and had the option to buy a manual gearbox and preferred to shift manually would shift manually, I think. What are your thoughts, peeps? You know, it's a slice of just ignore what that guy is saying. I definitely think floating is probably running out of fuel. Okay, I better buy some more diesel then. As soon as I find a new f another fuel station, I will buy some more diesel. Just clock that, actually. I can see the floating probably being better option than trying to. Well, I've seen the, using the clutch is a better option than trying to float because it just. I don't know if this game generically just doesn't like you trying to float. It is possible to float the gearbox. I'm not saying it's not possible to do because I know I can do it. I've done it in the past. But typically, most people do tend to use the clutch anyway. Turn the sides on, I won't turn the main beam on just yet. I don't think it worked, we're on the main beam. Sides, as everyone else has got the sides up. Once I get out of all this tight, snarly, windy roads, I've got a relatively short run on um, for this. Because again, I saw it was evening, and I thought rather than just do this as a short run off screen, I'll try and include it as a run on screen with the new the template or the new work in, pro, pro, um, work in progress skin. I've got a thimble already just before leaving the yard. I took a thimble, but if I can take a thimble again, then I should probably, well, I probably will. Need to get in the right side of the sun though. To have the sun beating down on the on the truck. Ah, diesel. This might be a good opportunity to take a go. Actually, I could take it while in the um, petrol station. Um, or if we just try and take it here, let's have a go at taking it here. If not, I'll just leave the, the generic one I've already got up. Already got them planned. That's quite good. I quite like that. I don't know if I, again, because, well, the rest of the truck should be all pretty simply similar. It's just working with the, the skins to try, because with ATS, 
it's easy. A lot, I've, the skins that I've got are easier to understand what's going on with it and what goes where. Um, the skins I've got for this are a bit more in depth, um, a bit more difficult to sort of work out. did. I won't cut him up though. Give him some space. I wonder if I can get away with... I want to try second. But as soon as I can find a tem decent template that has the skirts and is for this truck, then I'll probably actually get it to work properly. I think it'll probably work with a standard Scania the way I've set it out because the template is for a Scania, the steam line and all that. Um, engine off. Let's fill up. Uh, the the updates have um, come on this. It's still this is not still not the with the airlines and everything. But there was a small patch update um, to get rid of all the event stuff. Um, it's just a shame because I've never really got. I only got about two runs, maybe three runs out there. I'm floating again. I'm on the prowl for mods as well, for this, mod trucks, and um, just the stuff I've found is just generic trucks, standard generic trucks, I have a modified DAFs, modified Scania's, I prefer driving the old school trucks, to be, be fair. I'd love to see a Scammel mod um, appear, that would be pretty awesome, I remember the old Scammels. Some of the really older trucks I prefer to drive them than the modern stuff. Nothing wrong with the modern stuff, don't get me wrong, it's just the old stuff has its charm. A bit quick there. Watch out in that corner. I knew, know the new updates one isn't just as well as airlines, they've done some of the mirrors as well, so focus and position on the mirrors is more narrowed. I must admit they're more folk I find that they're more focused on this than they are in a on American truck simulator. Still think that's overkill. Just keep sides on. When they start finding you on this, I think it's after a certain time they they can find you. I think it's probably after seven. A bit like the multiplayer forums. But everyone's going nuts about that at the moment. The trailer stuff. The caravan and trailer, or car and trailer. I just I can see why they put it in. Um, I think it's quite fun, but I just think if 
like loads of people do it at the same time. People are gonna get sick of it. But put cruise control on. Now I've put a retarder on this, so this should automatically put the retarder on and off as I'm going around. We can afford to speed up a little bit, so... Yeah, maybe not. Here's 50 along here. So I'll keep it 52. I know it's still speeding, but it's within 10% margin, I think. I don't know if I'd drive of the caravan on it, car and caravan. I never drove the, drove the cars, the, Sk the Skodas on there, to be fair. Some people are just completely against the f whole idea of having cars on there. Because it, I can see why people say it is a truck simulator. Yes, um, you're right, it is a truck simulator. Um, but, you know, it's good to add a bit of flavour into it, just as long again as long as people don't go stupid with it then I don't see a problem with it but the problem is people just do go stupid with it and I've seen so, like, so many multiplayer videos of people just with hundreds and hundreds of cars of caravans going along and it's like uh, yeah So I can see I'm a bit on the fence, really, realistically. I'm just a uh, uh, speeding again. I can see why they did it, but what they should have done is some sort of capping on it, so then so many, only so many people can come in and choose that. And say, oh no, sorry, the cap for the car and caravans exceeded. Um, please choose a truck or just a car. I think certainly just certainly this is probably an ideal load for this actually these double trailers for this engine I think I've got too much power in this thing this thing's more geared I'd say for heavy hauling than just regular work which problem is it's fine it's fine trying to do what well, it'd be fine if I was doing like um, masses amounts of heavy hauling but I try and keep it mixed I do a bit of this, I do a bit of that, I do a bit of everything really. I don't try and specialise in any one given area. What I'll try and do in the next, probably next episode if I can, I'll try and find a special transport um, run. It might be a short run though, um, so bear that in mind. I might get a short run of them and then just start off on something else or just leave it as a short run. Um, also, if you guys don't follow the American Truck Simulator, I uh, suspect most of you do, because if you're watching this, you probably watch American Truck as well. But if you don't, if you just prefer watching this to that, um, I was talking about plans and about doing um, telemetry stuff. If it really takes off, I may even branch out and do it on them, on this as well, because obviously my telemetry works on both this and American Truck anyway, so. That'd be a nice, interesting side thing to go on. It all depends on how well it goes. And the moment, it's just like it's weird. Um, I don't know what's up with my YouTube at the moment, but when I upload a video, it's saying no views. 
and it sat there for one of my last videos I uploaded. It was sat there, said no views for at least a day. I was like, wow, at least I should get at least one or two people looking at it, not none at all. So I, I looked at it, and it was when I looked at the actual video, it was saying, oh, it's got um, four, four views. And it's only on the latest upload I've got at the moment. Um, it's not on any other video. All the other videos show you as views. But on the late, on the, whatever the latest, whether it's this, car mechanic, American truck simulator, whatever else I've got. Um, I'll stay in this lane, actually. Um, it's the same no views. I don't know what that's all about. I'm kind of a bit worried whether it's just YouTube being YouTube again or something else more sinister for it. Just thought, oh, what have I done? Oh, I'm watching my stuff. I was like, hmm. Even start thinking, hmm. So I just hang up the headphones? You know? No one's watching anything now. You know, I mean, beforehand, at least I get one or two people watching it, but no matter what. But I've got a retarder set up on this as well. Should really change down. Thought maybe I could get away with it in that gear. Once I get my head around how all the going back to the the whole fleet thing. Once I've got my head around how to get all the um, ETS mod stuff to work um, properly and the way I want it to work. Eventually I'll start sort of like um, uploading my files either to the Facebook group or um, I may even do them on Steam. I don't think they're worthy of Steam because I'm not that good a modder. American Truck Simulator mods, I'm brilliant at doing. Well, I'm not, not brilliant at doing, but I'm a lot better at doing them and understand how they work compared to this. Probably speeding again, yeah. I knew that was coming. Just leaving it in that gear, I think it's alright. Probably not the ideal gear to leave it in actually. That's better. Just to get it over that hill. The only thing I don't like about the automatics is they constantly change it up and down oh, a bit like me at the moment but um it's going too mad and it's like you it changes down when you don't need it to change down I find an auto box on this anyway they're better in real life gear up the auto boxes but Gotta be careful on this.
take it nice and wide round there because otherwise that back end trailer is going to clip. It's quite a nice run actually, I quite enjoy this. Maybe you guys are enjoying it too. of toll coming. Speeding. Wow, hit that quite hard. slow for me to be a worry for me. Floated again when I knew I shouldn't have. Uh, I do find floating a lot easier. Less work on the other, the other leg. I sometimes get it right but a lot of times I don't on this. It's easier on ATS to float. Like people are jumping up and down, so well, why don't you just get an auto box now then? Again, I just prefer to shift. Prefer to be in control of the gearbox. Whoa, 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 that came out of nowhere. Close indeed, it's quite a tight little set of roundabouts on this. How many miles we've got left? Well, not long. Again, if this dragged on a bit than normal, longer than normal, I can only apologise. Hoping you guys are enjoying it. Challenging myself yet again. Here actually, because I know it's one of these. See, this is what I meant the other day about stupidly tight junctions. I don't. I think that's a bit OTT. I know they can be narrow, but I don't think they'd be naturally that narrow. I think I've got away with that. Looks like it might have clipped the trailer a bit. Like a roller coaster, this is. Oh, truck coming. Oh, he's gonna let me out. Cheers, dude. I don't think you can do that legally, but I'll give him a salute for let me out.
go on to that sat nav there, it's right up on the left hand side there, sorry. We're near enough on top of it, but my sat nav on the bottom right there says we're not. Can't be that far away from it. I'm not speeding again. Ah, oh, right on top of it, cool. Need to be on the other side though to get to it. Make preparations to get out there now. So we're going to kind of go in to come out. What looks of it? Oh, I do. Right. Okay. To pull off of this. Here. that that felt to me. I'm not 100% sure. Soon will soon know as soon as we get to the delivery point. By rights it should only give me a let's play it safe option because Oh Mr. Camper Van, whoa! Not even slow down there, did you notice that? He's driving like me. In caravan simulator, or RV simulator. So it's like we're driven to here. All oh, this is going to be nasty. I don't think even playing it safe is going to be very nice. So I'm going to skip the. Because I just don't think I can part this. That's going to be right th there. And that's to skip it. Because I just don't think I'm going to. Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Sorry, guys. It's just too tight. I might try that on another day when we're not so pushed for time. It's like you, coward. Right. Engine off. But I'll leave it at that, guys. I'm sorry if it did drag on for a bit longer than normal. Um, uh, but if you enjoyed watching it, again, guys and girls, please feel free to like. And if you didn't enjoy watching this for any reason, again, please feel free to share. Um, sorry, I'll try that again. If you didn't enjoy it for any reason, please feel free to dislike, um, but please leave a comment down below um, so then I can improve in the future. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching it, that's what I'm supposed to say, um, please don't forget to share, it helps me a lot, I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.